Imagine the year 1977, a time of big dreams and bold ambition. Humanity decided to reach for the stars, not with our bodies but with our minds and machines. We built two robotic explorers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their mission? To explore Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and then venture into interstellar space. But these weren't just scientific probes, they carried a message, the golden record. This gold-plated copper disc holds the sights and sounds of Earth greetings in 55 languages, music, images and the story of our world. Greetings in 55 languages, music, images, and the story of our world. It's a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean saying, this is who we are. The launch of the Voyagers was a moment of hope and a testament to human curiosity. We packed science, art and hope onto a rocket and sent it into the unknown. We didn't know what they'd find or if they'd survive but we had to try, the universe was calling and we were ready to listen. The Voyagers became our declaration. We are part of the cosmos and we are explorers. Today, August 5, 2025, these twin explorers are still traveling, farther than any human-made object ever. They've left the planets behind, now sailing through the space between the stars. Their journey is a story of adventure, discovery, and the human spirit reaching beyond its limits. The Voyagers remind us we are explorers at heart, their story is our story. It's about looking up at the night sky, wondering what's out there, and having the courage to find out. The golden record still spins carrying our greeting into the vast unknown. The Voyagers are our cosmic message, still echoing through the stars, and their journey continues. The Voyager mission was possible thanks to a rare cosmic alignment. Once every 176 years, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune line up just right. This allowed the Voyagers to use gravity assists, a slingshot effect, to speed from planet to planet. Each encounter gave them a boost, saving decades of travel time. Voyager 2 visited all four gas giants while Voyager 1 took a different path after Saturn. The images and data they sent back transformed our understanding of these distant worlds. We saw Jupiter's great red spot as a raging storm, volcanoes on Io, and Saturn's rings as countless icy particles. The Voyagers turned points of light into real, dynamic places. Their planetary tour was a triumph, but their greatest adventure was still ahead, leaving the sun's influence and entering interstellar space. The journey to the stars had truly begun. Our solar system is wrapped in a vast bubble, the heliosphere, created by the solar wind from our sun. This magnetic cocoon shields us from dangerous cosmic rays, making life on Earth possible. The heliosphere isn't a perfect sphere, it's shaped by the interstellar medium like a ship's bow wave. Its outer edge, the heliopause, marks where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. For decades this boundary was a mystery, no probe had ever reached it. The Voyager's next challenge, to cross the heliopause and measure what happens when our sun's reach fades. Would the transition be smooth or violent? What secrets waited at the edge? These questions drove the mission forward, long after the planets were behind them. The Voyagers were on a quest to touch the invisible wall separating our home from the galaxy. They would become the first to sample the true frontier of our solar system. The data they sent back would change our understanding of our place in the cosmos. The edge of the sun's domain was finally within reach. After the planets, the Voyagers entered the heliosheath, the turbulent outer layer of the heliosphere. Here the solar wind slows and collides with the interstellar medium, creating a chaotic region. The spacecraft grew older, their power dwindling, and communication delays stretched to hours. Engineers had to make tough choices, shutting down instruments to conserve energy. Despite the challenges, the Voyagers kept sending back data from this unexplored frontier. They measured the slowing solar wind and rising cosmic pressure, sensing the approach of the boundary. The data was puzzling, strange magnetic phenomena and unexpected particle flows. Then in 2012, Voyager 1 detected a dramatic change, solar wind particles vanished, and cosmic rays surged. It had crossed the heliopause, leaving the solar system and entering interstellar space. For the first time a human-made object was truly among the stars. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, crossing at a different location. These milestones marked humanity's first steps into the galaxy beyond our sun. The Voyagers had become our scouts in the interstellar sea, their journey was a quiet triumph, a robotic leap into the unknown, the edge of our solar system was no longer a mystery. As Voyager 1 neared the heliopause it found something astonishing, a wall of superheated plasma, up to 50,000 degrees Celsius. How did the spacecraft survive? 
The answer lies in the difference between temperature and heat. The plasma was extremely hot but also incredibly sparse, like the hot air in an oven not the dense metal rack. Few particles actually struck the spacecraft so it remained cold and unharmed. Voyager flew through this wall of fire recording the extreme conditions. This discovery revealed the boundary was not a simple line but a dynamic, fiery frontier. The interaction between the sun's wind and interstellar space was more violent than expected. The Voyagers didn't just cross a border they survived a cosmic battleground. Their data forced us to rethink what we knew about the edge of our home. The universe, once again, proved stranger than we imagined. The surprises didn't end at the wall of fire. Scientists expected the magnetic field to change direction at the heliopause but it barely shifted. It was as if the sun's magnetic field and the galaxies were perfectly aligned. This led to a new theory, a magnetic highway at the edge where particles from inside and outside the solar system can easily cross. The boundary wasn't solid, it had doors and windows connecting us to the galaxy. The Voyagers revealed our solar system is not an isolated island but part of a vast cosmic web. The magnetic fields inside and out are linked in a complex, dynamic interface. This porous boundary allows a constant exchange between our home and interstellar space. The Voyagers showed us that the edge of our solar system is a place of connection, not separation. Every bit of data they send back deepens our understanding of our place in the universe. They are still out there, exploring this magnetic mystery. The boundary between us and the galaxy is alive with cosmic conversation. The Voyager missions are more than scientific triumphs, they're a story about us. These two small spacecraft built by human hands have traveled farther than anything we've ever made. They are our silent ambassadors, carrying the golden record, a greeting to the cosmos that may outlast all of Earth's monuments. The science they've returned has rewritten our understanding of the outer planets and the space between the stars. They've opened a new era, the exploration of the interstellar medium. The Voyagers remind us that the universe is full of wonders, waiting to be discovered. Every faint signal is a message from the abyss, a testament to what we can achieve together. On August 5, 2025, they are still flying, still exploring, still pushing the boundaries of knowledge. They will travel the Milky Way for millions of years, long after they fall silent. The story of Voyager is the story of our cosmic origins and our future. It's a journey of hope from a small blue dot reaching for eternity.